Welcome to PointWise's Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature or demonstrate a technique in just a couple of minutes. In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert grid entities to database entities via a glyph script. First off, let me show you where you can actually get this glyph script in question. So we're going to go to PointWise's website. If you scroll all the way down, there's going to be a little icon right here that will take you to uh, PointWise's GitHub page. Click there click another link over here and here's the list of scripts that we have available for you in particular the one I'm looking for is called convert is this one right here convert grid to database so as you can see right here I have one curvy connector two structured domains and one unstructured domain so what this script is going to allow me to do is convert this connector to a database curve of polynomial degree one uh, one of these structured domains to a database baseline surface of polynomial degree one as well. This other structured domain to a database surface baseline surface of polynomial degree three. And last but not least, this unstructured domain to a database shell entity. So let's go ahead and run this script convert to database. The first thing that you see is there's a little window that is going to pop up. And it's going to allow you to choose whether you want to convert connectors or domains. So let's go ahead and start with connectors. Click OK. Right here on the left side, we're asking you to actually select the connectors that you want to convert. I'm going to do that. Click Done. My script already finished running. And as you can see right here, I have one new database curve. If I turn off the display of all these other grid entities, that is my database curve. So let's go ahead and do something similar with my uh, domains. So I'm going to run the script again. In this case, I'm going to convert domains. Click OK. We're telling you right here to select the domains that you want to convert. So I'm going to go ahead and select two, the structure one and the unstructure one. Done. And as you can see, I'm going to turn everything off. We have two new surfaces. Um, this one right here is a B-spline surface, a polynomial degree one. This one is a shell surface. I'm going to run the script one more time. I want to click this option right here, spline resulting surfaces, which is going to create another B-spline surface, but in this case is going to have polynomial degree three. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.